Fortnite's Rocket Racing is a brand new arcade racer that tests your driving skills with gravity-defying mechanics. Developed by Psyonix creators of Rocket League, Rocket Racing captures the same competitive feel, just on a racetrack. Here's how Rocket Racing works. Rocket Racing isn't your typical car racing game where you just have to optimize your turns and drifts. Along with classic race mechanics, you also have to pay attention to your surroundings so you can break some rules and find some new alternative paths to cross the finish line first. Picture more Mario Kart-esque and less Forza Motorsport. Using the air dodge move, you can simply flick your thumbstick to leave the surface and stick to the ceiling or walls. You'll need to do this to avoid oncoming obstacles or just grab a speed boost that's on the ceiling. You can also use your thrusters to fly and float through the air, not just during ramp jumps. This can also help you find some cheeky near out of bounds raceway to zoom on, but also note that jumping and flying slows down your acceleration. Racing on a surface is also the best way to gain speed since that's what fills your boost meter. Drifting on turns will earn you more charge for turbo boosts, which which, once filled, allows you to thrust forward for a good moment and gets you an extra burst of speed at the end of the boost. You can hold on to three turbochargers at once. Driving around turns fills your turbo meter faster, but you can also manually hit the drift button. When you hit a turn in rocket racing, you'll automatically drift slightly to fit the curve. If you hit the drift button, you'll get a much harsher turn around corners to get more of a speed boost after coming out onto the straightaway. At the start of races, if you manage to hit the accelerate button right on the fourth green light, you'll get a slight to massive starting boost. The percentage of your boost is dependent on your timing, so make sure to keep your finger on the button so you get at least 80% or above for that starting acceleration. Alongside its tight controls, Rocket Racing also features a staggering amount of customization. This is the first time you're really able to fully customize a vehicle in Fortnite. You can change your car's body and secondary colors, add decals, and even change the look of wheels. And the best part, the customizations you have for the cars in Rocket Racing will transfer over to Battle Royale. At the moment, there are 26 racetracks with more coming every month. Currently, there are three biomes from the Fortnite ecosystem, the canyon, forest, and jungle. Aside from a casual mode where you can play any maps you want with up to 12 racers in your party or lobby, there's a ranked mode that lets you test your skills as an agile driver. In ranked, you'll face off against three other people, meaning each race only has four total players. As you climb in ranks, the map will get harder and harder and cycle from the easier, smaller maps to the harder, bigger tracks. Depending on the size of the maps, you'll have to complete three to five laps to finish a race. While it is recommended that you play with the controller, you can still use your keyboard and mouse if you really insist. I just personally found the controls to be much smoother on controller. For more Rocket Racing updates and tips, be sure to follow our IGN guide page. And for more Fortnite news, be sure to stay right here at IGN.